With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says a box A is lying on a horizontal floor of the compartment in the compartment of a train running along horizontal rails from left to right. At time t, it decelerates. The resultant contact force R by the floor on the box is given by. So basically, uh, we have to calculate the reaction force that is a train compartment or the train floor is imparting on the block. All right. So let's try to visualize this. The situation is something like this. So if we analyze this in the frame of train, so we can say a pseudo force must be acting on this block. Uh, we can say the train is decelerating. That means its acceleration will be in the leftward direction. All right. So a pseudo force will be acting on the block in the rightward direction M A. All right. And its weight is been acting in the downward direction M G. All right. So from here we can say one thing. As we can see clearly, uh, initially it's been given the train is moving from left to right, and after some time it starts decelerating. That means its acceleration will be leftward, and so uh, we have uh, shown a pseudo force in the rightward direction by using the concept of pseudo force. All right, and its weight is acting in the downward direction. So if we carefully analyze, so uh, we can say uh, the resultant of these two forces will be some lying somewhere over here. All right, so we can say this is the a uh, resultant force and which is nothing but which is given by the formula mg square plus of ma square all right now uh, we can see this is the action which has been imparted by the block on the floor as we can clearly see it over here but we have been asked in the question to calculate the force r by the floor on the box so we have to just reverse the situation over here and we can say the resultant force will be acting somewhere over here all right, so let's try to make it more clearly. So we can say the resultant force will be acting in this direction. All right, so we can say if we uh, carefully analyze the options that are being given. So this option uh, option C is the right answer to this question. So I hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.